What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, I definitely appreciate you clicking on this video and hopefully you enjoy what you see. If you do, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and of course the thumbs up, it definitely helps out the channel. But in today's episode guys, I actually met up with Heath over at Diecast Crazy. So if you haven't checked him out, I'll have his link down below. He's actually here in South Dakota as well, just a few hours away from me. So we met up, we did a little bit of hunting at the antique and trader's market. The trader's market on a Friday doesn't have any vendors really. So Saturday and Sunday are the hot days. So Heath, hopefully you can go there and score some goods, especially with Bob's booth. Bob's a great guy within the community over here selling die cast because he sells them for like two bucks. And I've, I've talked about Bob many times on the channel. So another great guy, hopefully Heath can leave with some goods in hand, but it was really, really good to finally meet the man behind die cast crazy as well as his family. Hunter was amazing. He was a really cool kid. And yeah, so I brought a box for him and Heath brought a box for me. So it was actually a really good way to save money on shipping these boxes to each other because both of our boxes were pretty big. We did the in-person exchange and you can see some heat laying on top. Oh man, but we'll get to this in a second guys, but we did score some, you know, little goodies here and there. Now these loose castings were from the Trader's Market. Uh, this Porsche was free. This is the Porsche 959 with this really nice white enamel with the checkered flag um, kind of tearing across the body. But there are multiple variations of this casting. As far as wheels go, this is the three spoke variation, which you can see are in rough condition. I do want to try to clean this up and put the original gold three spokes back on it, but I don't know. You guys let me know, should I do that? Should I drill into the base? and swap out the wheels and try to clean it up. I kind of want to just to bring back some life to it. So this Porsche was free because they had a buy two get one free thing going on there. And then I did pick up this awesome premium racing champions Dodge Viper. Check that out, man. This thing is sweet. It does got the real riders on there. And of course the opening hood, check out that V10 just crammed in there. This thing is awesome. So you got the Ultimate Racing Livery, number 93. They had the matching Dodge Ram and the Dodge Intrepid, but uh, I really only wanted the Viper. This thing is super cool. So grabbed this one, and then the last one is this 1988 release of this beauty right here. This one is actually called the Talbot Splitter, I think it is. Um, but the white wall, white enamel, is the second release for this casting. This one was 1988, so it's actually in pretty good shape. There were two of them in the loose bin, um, but the other one had a really scratched up hood and roof, so I only picked up this one, uh, mainly because it's just really, really cool. I love the streamlined body to this. I do have an emerald green version of it, um, but there are some hard to find ones out there. There's some older, FAO Schwartz releases in gold from 95, I think another one in 98. And then there's an ultra rare version of this in a metallic blue. There's just some little info on that one. So that's what we picked up for loose castings. And then at the antique mall, him and I pretty much bought each other stuff. So I bought him a bone shaker he needed. He bought me a casting I needed, hooked his boy up with some street beast that he wanted. So it was actually fun buying and doing a little triangle of purchasing st stuff for each other. But the one I did pick up that I've passed up before was this beautiful Corvette C6. It's a 2009 new model, but this burnt orange metallic is beautiful. I definitely did not have this one for the collection, but you have some really nice taillight tampos, the Corvette flag, of course some PR5s in chrome, you do have some headlights. So the new model was looking really good for the Corvette for this series um, and definitely digging this one, man. Beautiful burnt orange. Now the next one is a 2007 new model. This is called the Ferrasen. This thing is really cool formula, but I looked it up. It's actually named the Nitro Scorchin. Um, but it was released as the Ferrasen at first and then they eventually name changed it. But there are five or six first editions, which this is one of the first editions. Um, and you have the Ferrasen base, which you can see right there. It says Ferrasen on the base 
and Ferrasen on the card. There are other ones where the base says Ferrasen, but the cards say Nitro Scorchin. And then you have the reverse of Nitro Scorchin on a Ferrasen card. There's just a whole bunch of variations, but I believe the Midnight Blue one was the official name change on the base. But I also read that this is one of the only main lines, I don't know how accurate that is, the only main line that can go down the track upside down as well. So the way the wheel and body configuration is, this car can roll upside down because you have the open wheels up front and the back wheels are large enough just to have clearance over that intake right there that this car can roll upside down on the track too. So this is actually really cool. And of course, I'm not 100% sure if it was based off of the Ferrari formula and they just wanted to change it and use a play on words for for racing. I don't know. Next up, they actually had this in the antique mall, guys. The Forza Motorsport Acura NSX. I never did find this one in store, um, but I do have the others. I do have the GT350, the Land Rover Defender, and the Audi RS Avant, but of course the Porsche was never in our area. Neither was the NSX, so finally grabbed this one. Hopefully I can go back and look and maybe one time he'll have the Porsche on pegs, but other than that, this is a beautiful addition to the Acura NSX collection. And like I always say guys, my side collections are definitely growing as much as my Mustang ones are. So beautiful livery, love the white with the red and black NSX livery on this, but there you go. Next up guys, this is the ramp truck that Heath bought for me um, since I got him the bone shaker. Beautiful green metallic of the ramp truck. This is collector number 774. And yeah, this thing is super cool. I do have a few variations to this one on card. Um, and this was one color I didn't have. So I definitely wanted to pick it up. But Heath was kind enough to uh, pick this one up for me. And so in return, I picked him up the Bone Shaker. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome ramp truck right here. All right, now this bag right here, guys, is probably the coolest score we did there. Now these two cars came in the bag for a dollar. Two of these for a dollar, so 50 cents a piece, and they are both mystery models. Check this one out, guys. This is a super, super clean version of the Rapid Transit. Look at that. Beautiful red enamel. You got the double zeros on the side and the nice white hockey stripe running down the hood and sides as well. But this is a mystery model. Awesome score for that, but also this Ferrari is a mystery model as well. Check it out, it's the F430 Challenge. That is super clean, man. No nicks, no scratches or chips or anything on this F430. Beautiful freaking livery on this. Um, and of course, when I looked it up, I saw it was a mystery model and I was like, oh my God. I literally got a mystery model Ferrari F430 for 50 cents. Look at that, guys. The beautiful white Y5s on this one. Blue tinted glass. You got the full race interior, single seat. Yeah, this thing is super cool. So two mystery models for a dollar. Cannot beat that, guys. That is why I love antique malls and traders markets. So off to the box from Heath over at Diecast Crazy. First one right here, guys. The Napa Auto Parts 500 California Speedway. Check that out, man. Super, super cool. Do not have this one in the collection, nor have I seen it, but it's the Pontiac Grand Prix with the 2000 year on this casting. Super sweet. April 30 of 2000. But uh, yeah, the number one Hot Wheels racing cards are definitely, definitely cool pickups right there. So Heath, Thank you so much for that one. Let's move on to this box and open it up. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, man, got some Zamax in the house, guys. Check this out. Oh, man, we got to the Bone Shaker. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. This is number nine out of the Zamax series, Walmart exclusive Bone Shaker right here. And you have the really, really cool Flying Skull livery with the 68 black steelies. Dude, nice, man. Nice. 
We definitely don't get Zamax here. We definitely don't get them. And then the next one is the 71 Dodge Charger Zamax number eight. Check that out, man. The Hot Wheels Art Car Series. Definitely looks so much better as a Zamax. That is sweet, dude. Definitely love the Zamax. And we have another Mach E 1400. And here we go. I got to see if there's any variation to this. It's not an international, but I do have the Zamac one sitting over there. So I'm really, really stoked to have another one. Ooh, and here we go. The 68 El Camino. This is number 15 out of the series from the Rod Squad. Here we go. I do have a few variations to this one. I do have the other variations, which actually had the different intake on top of the motor, where it was more of an inlet, where these are velocity stacks. But uh, yeah. Super cool, man. 68 El Camino. Uh-oh, here we go. Next up is the Batmobile number 13. Lucky 13 for the Batman car. Check that out. Man, that is super cool. Very, very awesome Batmobile for any series. I know the classic one is definitely a legend. I really did like this car in the movie. I mean, it sounded amazing. But awesome one right there man and here we go we got the pontiac gto my dude this is number 14 i do have this one though i picked it up from bob's booth a while back but it was the only one he had so out of the hot wheels drag strip of course the goat looking really good in the drag setup but gosh dude beautiful so far i do have all the releases of the gto and of course the extra zamac for the for that one all right here we go dear jason here are some castings i've sent you where i know they will have a good home also included is a car for the track nice thank you for all you do for the collecting community you were my biggest inspiration in starting my channel your friend heath at diecast crazy definitely awesome to hear and heath and i did talk about that um, how it is just really really cool to spark that interest and just light that flame in someone to start their channel. And I definitely love what Diecast Crazy has been doing. You know, he has a showcases where he will showcase his truck series, lowrider series, Impala series. 57 Chevys is my man's favorite car amongst many others. He loves the Impalas as well. So Heath, hopefully you enjoy what I threw in your box, man. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there, but keep doing what you're doing. Even the small channels out there, keep doing what you're doing you're still impacting the community and influencing others in starting their collections showing off some cars that i've never seen before and that's what i love seeing about all these channels out there there are so many castings it is ridiculous but if you really want to get spun up and learn about what is really out there tune into all the channels so heath Thank you so much for that. And of course, whatever's in here. Here we go, guys. He did mention he threw this in here. Check this out. Dale Earnhardt's plaque and card, man. Awesome stuff right there. So Dale Earnhardt's racing all-time greatest driver, 1951 to 2001. Dude, that is cool. And it does have the letter of authenticity or the certificate right behind the card but i don't want to dig that out so i had seen this at the antique mall once before and then never again so i think it is so cool that we have it in the collection so heath awesome stuff right there man Ooh, and here we go we have another joey logano mach one nice now he did pick this up for me a while back he did score this for me a while back. So again, thank you so much for this. I do have two. I have one hanging up right there. The other one is hanging. You can see it right there on the front pegs. So here is a third or no fourth because I have another one that I opened up right there. So since this is a gift from Heath, this one is not leaving the collection. And look at this, man. Oh my gosh, lots of loose castings in here. Ooh, and here's his car for the track. Now he did say it was a custom Porsche and oh my gosh, dude, check this out. I don't know if I want to use this on the track, man. This is such a beautiful Porsche. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a little dusty just from the napkin, but oh man. Hold on, I got to clean this up for you guys because the dust from the from the little peanuts 
is not giving his car justice. Here we go, guys. Look at this, man. God, I need, to, I need to wipe it up a little bit more. Dude, this thing is beautiful. Porsche 911 GT3. And look at that flake. Oh my gosh, Heath. This is beautiful, man. You sure you want this going down the track? Oh man. Oh, I'm so afraid of that. And look at that, 911 GT3. All the tampos are still on there. Dude, you gotta let me know how you did that. You gotta let me know how you did that. I guess you just spray over it. Dude, that is a beauty. So that is Heath's racer. Oh my gosh, look at that. That paint job is gorgeous. So let's just put it back in the case just for the purpose of I do not want anything happening to that car. Dude, that is beautiful make me want to get back into customs I just don't have the time to do them like I did all right man we got a lot of stuff in here guys first three I have no idea what to expect oh nice the number 30 pins oil nice I think I have this one but let's see if it's a variation you guys know I have to check if it's a variation or not uh, nope not this side maybe yep maybe it's here all right, let's see. Let's look at this side by side. It's a lot going on here, but it looks like they're the exact same casting. Yep. Looks like the exact same casting, a little difference on the way the name is written. Got this one in bold, and uh, this one's in like super thin fine print. Could it be a variation? Maybe. Can I be reaching? Maybe. There we go. But either way guys, beautiful Michael Waltrips number 30 right there. Next up, oh nice, nice man, check this out. I think this is Matt Kenseth's number 17. Look at that. Now he did mention that one of the bodies comes off and I think this is awesome dude. Look at the detail of this interior. Man, that looks good. Got the fire bottle, all the NACA ducks. Dude, that is sweet. Look at the exhaust. Man, that is awesome. So I just gotta fix the window, just kinda re-adhere it. But there we go, man. Just gotta fix that hood and it'll be okay. But there we go, man. Matt Kenseth's body opening number 17. Next up, oh, there we go. We have another Brickyard 400 pickup right here, the number 95. Nice, I do have this one. I have a uh, two or three maybe, but I also have it with the money bank. So there we go, we got it on card right there. And then of course we have the money bank version, the larger scale, and this one right here. Super cool, man. Good to have it loose. I wanna say I have another one, but might be in the jammer. I want to say I have a third one. Um, no, that's all Jeff Gordon. It's got to be in this one. No. Nope. Maybe I don't have a third one. I could have sworn I did. So awesome. Now we have it loose. Even better. Next three. Don't know what to expect out of these, man. Oh, nice, dude. Nice, Rusty Wallace, check that out, dude. That is sweet, do not have this one. Wow, that is beautiful, man. Penske Racing's number two in blue and white. There you go, we got the Ford Thunderbird. Awesome, awesome sauce right there. All right, next up, here we go. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, here we go, another 43 Pop Secret. Oh, this one has the flames. I think I just got this one too. But let's go ahead and double check. Um, dude, I could have sworn I just got the one with flames. Maybe it's in here. This thing is full of NASCAR. Oh my gosh, yep. See, so many I still have to get jammers for. Oh man, I wanna say I just got one too. So it might be in here. Don't want to really disturb anything because I'm trying to 
preserve everything in that drawer, but I think I do have this one. But either way, man, this thing is awesome looking. Love the flames on it. Next up, here we go. Ooh, check this out. Number seven, Clabber Girl Baking Powder. Who drives this? It's like Scott Reeves. Nice, dude. Definitely have not seen this one. That is a really cool retro number seven, man. Monte Carlo. That is cool. Definitely got to look that one up. Unless you guys have the info, comment down below. But yeah, that is actually a really cool one right there. Next three, actually. All right, first one out of this bag. Here we go. Number 81. Now that is super cool. Now I can't see who's the driver of this. But you guys let me know down in the comments who drives the number 81 Square D car. Dude, that is a really nice livery on that. This one is a 1997 Hasbro. Nice. That is a really cool Thunderbird, man. That is probably one of my favorite stock cars right there is the Thunderbird. And next up, this one's actually pretty heavy. Oh, there we go. We got some truck series in the house. The number one Sears Die Hard. Nice. Beautiful square body pickup. So this one is Jones, but don't know which Jones as the driver. You guys let me know. You guys are the gurus for the stock cars and racing in general. So I always look out to you guys to let me know some facts, but that is a sweet truck right there. Yeah, I'm digging that. He did tell me that he threw some trucks in here. So I'm actually super stoked to see which ones are out there. Ooh, here we go. Oh, no way, dude. <laughs> oh, man. He threw this in there. This is one of his favorite ones, a Superman Jeff Gordon. Now, I know, I hope, he kept the other one. I think he has two. I want to say he has two, but, dude, this is sweet, man. Beautiful metallic finish on the Superman 24. I do have one. Um, I don't know if it's the same, same one, and it might be the exact same one. Yep, sponsors and everything are the exact same. Window, interior, yeah, it's basically the exact same one. So now I have two of the Superman 24s. Nice. Definitely a beautiful one, man. That blue metallic is gorgeous. Next bag of three. And I do appreciate that you wrapped up every single one of these, man. I know that takes a lot of time. Ooh, here we go, number 23 pro stock truck check that out man the f-150 now that is awesome t.s clark or maybe tj clark look at that asc certified it used to be ase certified but uh that was back in 2006 and you have to renew it every year so man that is an awesome f-150 right there dude Oh man, now I'm going to be going down the rabbit hole of getting trucks. Oh my gosh. But the thing with trucks is I don't know the drivers to any of those series. Next one. Ooh, the number seven X side. Here we go. That is sweet, man. Another F-150. Gosh, dude, now you're going to have me go down this rabbit hole of trucks. These are just really cool. They need to bring these back. Like someone needs to say, hey guys, you know what? I know we're making all this NASCAR stuff, but let's bring the truck series back. I mean, they're still racing. Like why not bring those back? Next up, who could it be? Kodak? Nice. Number four, Sterling Marlin. Beautiful. Now let's see if this is the same Sterling Marlin I have. And nope. The Sterling Marlin I have has the clear window. Nice. So this is a new addition to the collection. This one has the blacked out windows and of course the more square body Chevy Lumina. Where this one is the Monte Carlo I think. Yep, this one's the Monte Carlo. Three Monte Carlos. So now we have the Chevy Lumina of Sterling Marlin's number four. Kodak Film. Nice. Next bag. All right, here we go. First one. Ooh, here we go. Check that out. Number 15, Lake Speed. Nice. Got the Ford Quality Care Car. Here we go, man. Another awesome 
stock car for the collection. There are so many out there. It is just ridiculous. All right, next up, number 71, Baby Blue. So here we go. It looks like Dave Macy. Yeah, it looks like Dave Macy. Big Apple Market Chevy Lumina. Sweet, man. Love the vintage stuff, man. All right, let's see. Next one. Check this out. Number 22. Ooh, the MBNA America. Ward Burton. Ooh, is he related to, is he relating to all the other Burtons? Number 22. Grand Prix. Man, look at that, dude. That is just cool. All right, next three right here. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, there we go, man. Rusty Wallace. Oh, man, is this the one I have on short card? Totally wrong. Never mind. It's not that one. Um, but another new one. Oh, no, look, I do have that one. Let's see. Is this the same one as the other? Oh, yeah, it is the same. So this one is a second one. We'll put that one right back. But this one actually has a serial code. Check that out. 7580 out of Racing Champs. Dude, that is cool. Now I got to look it up. Dude, that is awesome. Love it, man. Next up, I think this is Kevin Harvick's number two. Let's see. Does it focus? Yeah, Kevin Harvick's number two AC Delco. Oh man, that is nice. Beautiful blue metallic and the quality, man. This is metal on metal. Yep, action racing. Dude, that is nice. Beautiful details on this. It's my first Kevin Harvick. Look at that. Next up. Ooh, here we go. There we go. Check that out. Number eight. Who drives this one? Jeff Burton. Nice. Got the Ford Thunderbird, man. Ray Bestos. Dude, that is sweet. That is a sweet one right there. God, I love these old ones. Definitely don't compare these days. All right, let's see. Next up, let's see what do we have in this one. Number 25, check this out. Nice. K Schrader. Dude, that is super cool. I've never even seen this. Guys gotta let me know some info on this car, but that is another Chevy Lumina. That is just super cool. So much nostalgia in here that I don't even know. Like there's some in here I'm like familiar with, but then when you throw things like this, I do the research, I get more familiar and I learn so much more. So I definitely love the older stuff like that, man. All right, next up, here we go. Number 26, Quaker State. Wow, I have not seen a Quaker State car in a minute. Got Brett Bodine, number 26. Man, I wonder when this was released. Let's see, this is a, this is action racing. So it's like a 1990 something, 94. All right, here we go, next up. Ooh, Terry Labonte's Kellogg's car, there we go. Nice, it's the Chevy Lumina. Now I'm not 100% sure if I have a Lumina of Terry Labonte, but of course we gotta check. Always gotta check, so. We do have one there, um, and it might be the same. Looks like they would be the same. Yep, so two of them, that one's in like mint condition. Nice, definitely love these, man. All right, next up. Ooh, check this out, number 43 STP. Got the Bobby Hamilton Grand Prix right there. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I love those blue wheels, man. Love the blue wheels. Now let's see if I have this one. I know I have a couple similar ones. Um, nope, 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 definitely nope. Yes, we have a new one. Nice. Definitely a great addition right here, man. That is a beautiful one. God, I love that STP livery, man. All right, let's see. Ooh, we got a mini one right here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> nice. Oh, that is super cool. Got the Petty Toolbox, man. That is awesome. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much for throwing that in there. That is too cool. All right, next up, ooh, Jeff Gordon. Here we go, another Jeff Gordon casting for the collection. Beautiful, man. Rainbow Warrior right there. That is nice. 
I love that, dude. All right, let's go ahead and put the Jeff Gordons together. Got two Gordons, two Rusty Wallaces. The next one. All right, let's see what's in this one. Ooh, another truck. Here we go, number 21. Got the Ortho Lawn and Garden. Dude, these F-150s are super sweet, man. Look at that. Let's see who drives this. Toby Butler. Don't know that driver at all. I don't know any truck driver, so... You guys are going to be the experts on it this one, but I love the trucks, dude. Gosh, man. Now I'm going to be going down this rabbit hole. I can tell you that. Oh, my gosh. Got to hold it together, guys. I got to hold it together. All right, let's see. Next one. Ooh, number 29. Here we go. The BF Goodrich car. Ooh, is that Kevin Harvick? Is that Kevin Harvick's? It looks like it. Dude, that is sweet. I did not know he drove a 29. Did not know he drove the 29, but that is a beautiful pearl white. Look at that. Dude, that is nice. And of course, let me guess. Action racing, it has to be. Yep, action racing, man. They do really good work. And I miss action for these small ones. Dude, that is awesome. Look at that. Two of them right there. Number 29 and number two. All right, next up. Here we go. Oh, nice, man. Bill Elliott's 94. Dude, that is sweet, man. The Batman one? Oh, yeah. Dude, that is awesome. I think I have a uh, carded one. Maybe. Of course, I always say that. Like, I want to say, but... I can never remember, man. I have so many. Uh, yep, there we go. Right there. I opened this thing and put it right there. So that thing is still mint. 95 edition for the Batman 94. Nice. So we have a second one. Let's see. Next up, we got a couple bags left, guys. Couple bags left. Ooh, check this out. Got number 90. This one's the... Is it Heilig Myers Furniture? I don't even know who that is. Is that Mike Wallace? It's a Wallace name. You guys let me know which Wallace drove the number 90. That is cool, man. I love the teal and black. Nice. All right, let's see. Next up, oh, another truck. Nice. Number 38. This is Channel Lock. But another F-150, man. Love it. I don't know which one I like more, the Chevy or the F-150. I'm definitely digging the F-150. I take that back. I don't even have to think about it. I think the F-150 does look so much cooler. Next up. Ooh, here we go. Number six of the Ultra Wheels. Oh, man. Who's the driver of this one? It's Butch something. I can't really read the name of that, but... Awesome F-150. Dude, you had a lot of F-150s trucks, man. A lot of race trucks. But Heath did say he was really into race cars and all that stuff back then. He hasn't stayed in touch with it, so there's a lot of new drivers he doesn't know. But you can definitely see he was a huge collector of NASCAR at one time. Next up, I have to buy like nine jammers just for my extra stock cars, man. Ooh, here we go. Check it out. The number 24 DuPont. Oh, yeah, that is sweet, dude. But, of course, it's a Chevy pickup. I don't think the 24 team would use a Ford, but that is a beauty, man. Look at that. All right, next up. Oh, nice, man. The number 28. Check that out, man. I think this is the Ernie Irvin's 28 Haviland car. God, I love these. Oh, man. Haviland's probably one of my favorite liveries of this decade. Something about the number 28 Haviland, I love. That is awesome, man. So I do have a small collection of Ernie Irvin stuff, if you guys know. Um, so that is another great addition for the collection. All right, let's see. Next up, ooh, here we go. Number six, Mark Martin. Now, he did say it was missing a hood, which I am perfectly fine with that. That is just too freaking awesome. And this is the removable body. Check that out. Oh, man. That is too awesome. Now, this is the same type of removable body that I used for uh, Big Daddy's custom of the Chase Elliott. So, I traded for the chassis to Osvaldo. 
and then I used it to take the motor and a couple pieces out of it to build that chase car for him. But dude, this is awesome. I don't care if it has the hood or not. Number six, Mark Martin. All right, we got four more bags, guys, four more. All right, let's see what's in this one. Ooh, check that out. This is a matchbox. Number 92, Stanley Mechanic Tools. Or Stanley Tools. Oh, Hut Strickland, nice. <laughs> nice, man. Chevy Lumina and the detail on this one's really good. But there you go, Chevy Lumina's Matchbox Release. Oh, that is awesome. I like Matchbox's versions of the stock cars. I love the oversized wheels with the huge white lettering. I'm actually a really big fan of those. But Hut Strickland, man, nice. All right, let's see. Ooh, here we go. Dale Jarrett, number 88 quality care car. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little dollar sign on it. You guys let me know what that's supposed to represent. I have no idea. Let me know what the dollar sign means on the window. That is definitely a unique one. I've never seen that before. All right, let's see. Next up. Oh, nice. The Jurassic Park Jeff Gordon, which is awesome, man. I do have this one right here, but that one actually has the opening hood. So the more premium lineup, now I have a second one, different variation to the Jeff Gordon car. Dude, awesome stuff right there. All right, let's put the Jeff Gordons together. All right, next bag. Here we go. Oh, nice. Brickyard's 94 inaugural race car right here. Chevy Lumina. I do have two of these. So this makes number three. Sweet, dude. More the merrier, man. All right, next up. Ooh, check this out. Do not have this. Maxwell House number 22. Bobby Labonte. Nice. That is beautiful, man. Love the blue metallic with the gold. Oh, that is gorgeous. Gotta say, man, that is a nice one. Next up, ooh, check this out, guys. Hot Wheels version of the number 43 STP. Oh, that is sick. God, I love those coal molded wheels, man. That is awesome. Do not have this one. That is too cool, especially the Hot Wheels release of it. Oh man, that is sweet. You got the full roll cage in there. Nice. Two more bags, guys, two more, and then we're done. All right, here we go. We're running out of room on this end, but oh man, another one, nice. Look at that, this is more of a premium release too. This one's got the real riders on there or the rubber wheels. Oh, dude, that is sweet. So check it out. Back to back. Number 24s. One's got the premium wheels. The other one has the normal. And of course, this one's got the headlights on it. All right. Next up. Ooh, check this out. Number six. That is a super cool livery on that. Total. Don't know what total is, but. Oh, man, I can't even see that. See who the driver is. Nice signature, though. But another Craftsman Chevy pickup beautiful that is cool man all right let's see next up feels like another truck looks like another truck oh nice here we go mike skinner's number three i actually do have one let's see if this is a different version of it oh yeah different version that one's got the red interior this one's got the silver interior dude nice oh wait and i have that one that one's got silver interior, but the red trim on the wheels, this one's just black. So three variations to Mike Skinner's pickup truck. Dude, that is awesome. That truck is just beautiful. All right, final three. Let's see, what do we have in this one? Oh yeah, <laughs> nice. Oh, such a nice way, man. Nice way to finish this last bag. Mark Martin's number six. Oh, and this might be a variation. This one's got Reese's on the hood. Reese's, Reese's, Reese's. Oh my gosh, is this another one? This is another variation. Holy crap, there's a lot of variations. So this is definitely new to the collection for the Mark Martin ones. Look at that, man. Dude, love it. All right, next up, 
Oh man, here we go. The gold number 94. Definitely don't have this one. That is awesome. Is this a cereal car as well? Nope, this is a McDonald's car. An actual Happy Meal car. Yeah, 50th anniversary. And they're celebrating 75 years right now. God, this is 25 years old. Gosh, where's the other? There's the other one right there. Let's put those together. Boom. Put that there. And the last and final one right here, guys. Let's see which one's it gonna be. Oh, nice. Oh, that is such an epic way to finish that. Check it out, man. Lake Speeds number nine. Oh, the Cartoon Network car. That is awesome. Oh, the colors are just so vibrant. And I think this is the opening hood. Yep, there we go. Dude, nice. Oh, and this is a happy birthday NASCAR one. Dude, that is probably my favorite number nine. That is probably one of my favorites right now is this one. Just so many childhood memories, man. Look at that. Tom and Jerry. You got the dog. <laughs> I forgot what his name is. Oh, man. He used to always be in the elevator. Going down. <laughs> you got Fred Flintstone and Dino. Oh, that is awesome, dude. That is a super awesome way to finish this package. A beautiful NASCAR series and truck series from Heath over at Diecast Crazy. We got the Dale Earnhardt little card plaque, which is awesome stuff right here. We got the number one California Speedway out of Hot Wheels, full line of Zamax. We got an awesome, beautiful custom Porsche 911. Racing for the track, we got the Joey Logano Extra Premium. And then of course the ones that we picked up from the antique and traders market dude awesome stuff right there heath thank you so much for this hopefully you enjoy the package just as much as i did for these we got some beautiful additions man some i've never seen or heard of and then some other ones that are great additions to the variations that i already have like i said guys if you haven't checked out diecast crazy i'll have his link down below and if you enjoyed the video give it a huge thumbs up and of course, let me know some info on any of the drivers, especially the truck series, because I am not familiar with any of those drivers. But of course, Mike Skinner, I'm familiar with. Um, but the other ones, yeah, no clue on any of those. So that is all we have for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And of course, until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.